Previously on OMG, we're coming over. Wow. Hi, Queen. You got a king. I bed. know. I sleep on the floor. What time do we start tomorrow morning? Oh, that's the wake up alarm. Got it. What? I need to sleep for at least three hours. Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Oh my gosh, guys, we are back. We are back. It's the morning. We have been doing a lot of work here at Lily's and we are back at it, at it again. Yesterday was very tiring, but very worth it. Oh my gosh. she's so much fun to work with. She's so positive. She loves her bedroom. She's in the groove. She's trusting us. Today we're doing the in-home office yes. where she has her editor. Just her and, boss lady, yeah. her B-A-W-S-E. She's gotta be creative, really representative of her brand, but also functional. And we have to fit four people in a very petite room. Challenge accepted. Before we do, oh, make yeah. sure and go over to Lily's channel. But also, hey, all you people from Lily's channel. Yes, if you're new from Lily's channel, nice to meet you. I'm Kate. This is I'm Joey. Joey. We're giving one subscriber a $10,000 room transformation once we hit a million subscribers. Yes, and we might come over to your place and do what we're about to do in Lily's office. We also are giving $1,000 to charity for every 100,000 subscribers we add. I'm ready to get super boss with them. Oh my God, I'm so ready. Oh, oh I love you. Let's do this. Oh, I have lipstick on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Today is a monumental moment. Kate is going to be decorating my office, which is on the main level of my house. Probably the room I spend the majority of my life in. So crucial that it has good vibes, it's a good environment, a creative space. You said a cold star color. Cold star color. I like yeah. it. I like, I like it. it. I like yeah. it. So we've got these blue painted walls now. This wall is a co-star, if you will, because we have something really bold planned for one feature wall. Did you guys even leave? When did you do this? <laughs> so I walk in like really early in the morning and the wall is painted. It's this beautiful blue color and I'm like, are you wizards? Last night before we left, we just put on a coat of this really cool blue paint. The main goal with this room is to keep it clean and simple but still fun. We're running on fumes today. Okay, okay. Yeah. But lots of times magic happens on fumes, I feel like. It's a smaller room than your bedroom. Yeah. But yeah, we gotta it's a fit, very small room. Almost gotta fit more in here. Yes. Because we have to fit more bodies in here. Well, it depends on how many bodies she wants in her bedroom. Joey, don't judge. Okay. But. Not very many. Right. <laughs> Not very many. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, etc. But she wants the ability to be able to invite friends in to work if they're visiting from Toronto, etc. My house is kind of like that. Everyone gets together and brainstorms ideas and works and get things done. We'll have like a as organized mm -hmm. and functional of a space in here while still representing your brand. Yes. I don't want to give Lily like unicorn wallpaper and unicorn chair and a unicorn lamp and a unicorn da, 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 because she gets all that stuff as gifts anyways and she has so much unicorn paraphernalia everywhere which we will store in her closet. This is more so a room that speaks to her personal style. She's bold, she's colorful, but she's also kind of tomboyish and has just a, a real casual, fun vibe about her. So we really want this office to be clean, chic, colorful, and functional. This is probably the room I'll spend the most amount of time in, in the entire house. Uh, no pressure, no pressure. Organization is key. Yes. Because I also like write a lot of scripts and do a lot of creative work, so I need to be in a space that's like, okay, motivating me to be creative. You just went. 50%, yeah. right? So now we're kind of tired. So we're gonna go out, we're gonna crush this second half. This is how you huddle, right? We are halfway through this game. We have half left. We already did an amazing job in the first half. We are gonna do an even better job on the second half, and we are gonna win the Super Bowl of Lily Super Woman Sing Blow Boss of Blaze. I love how I'm so into this and I'm not doing any of the work, really. Let's get it in, let's get started. One, two, three, Super Woman! All right. We're back with the laser. Oh my. So now it's time to reveal to her the 
statement wall paint. I'm oh. freaking out. Whoa. I'm freaking out. Can I start opening them? Yeah. Okay. So I see various paint cans, and already my brain is like, various paint cans means various colors. Score. Color number one is. What's in color number <gasps> one? Thank you. Oh my God. Rolling your life. Think I know what's happening here. So I opened the first can, and it was this beautiful pink, and I'm like. Clearly, I love pink. And then there was blue and yellow and purple. I'm like, oh my god, I'm a genius. Kate is remaking my logo and my animation from the beginning of my video. What is your video live in your office? I don't think so. I went a little bit more muted mm -hmm. slightly. You no, know, there's something like a little it. too aggressive about neon on a yeah. wall. Cause like These are the know. things I would never know. <laughs> See, I would go into the store and be like, can you give me the brightest color of everything, please? <laughs> and then I'd walk into this office and go blind. Like, literally, that's what happens. We had to prep this wall because we got to get nice, even stripes. Mm -hmm. And we also want a nice, clean line of paint. We don't want any bleeding into the other stripes. That's why we got the laser level. So Joey is prepping the stripes. We want to evenly space them on that wall, but we're not going all the way down because we have a counter desk plan, which Lily doesn't know yet. Nice, good job. Good job. Thank you. We're gonna line up right there. When Lily and I were brainstorming, she loves text on the wall. You guys saw that obviously in her bedroom where we went more cursive with it. But in the office, we need to go nice, bold block letters. I, this is what I think. Why don't you just do it? Oh uh, no, I'm not telling them. This is what I think. We gotta yeah. Step Based on my limited experience. Yeah. I think we gotta peel one side off. <laughs> We're doing this decal. I have no idea how to do it, but we figure it out. We DIY it. Yes. Of course, I had to ask Lily before I ordered the decal. I was like, okay, what word or combination of words means something to you? So she was like, how about hustle harder? Because I use that all the time. That's like my hashtag. It's what I tell myself to make me work harder. know the place and everything and you wait in on that so I'll do hustle all right cool when you're sleeping you mean hustle work hustle oh no but we should do the paint first yeah I'm gonna go do a special thing all right so while the girls paint this accent wall I'm gonna take off because I gotta check in on her sign Guys, we are here at Sign Makers. Sign Makers is probably my favorite sign making place in the world because they're the ones who I make all my signs with. We are building Lily, her logo, with lights glowing on it. So I'm gonna head over to Sign Makers, check in with them, and pick up the sign. The process that we are undertaking to paint these wall stripes is pretty involved because we do not want any bleeding. So the way to do this is to measure out your stripes and tape these stripes that you're gonna paint first. So right when you have to tape them off, you have to tape into one of the stripes. So you'll have to paint alternating stripes first. What you wanna do is you wanna paint the tape line with the other color first. So that way when it bleeds through, it's bleeding through the color that will actually be on that stripe as opposed to the other color. No matter what type of paint or tape you use, it will always bleed a little bit, especially when your wall is textured. So you want to make sure that those bleeds that first seep through are the color of the stripe. Then that will seal any other bleeds and then you can go over it with the other stripe color. So we have the aluminum aluminum box sign right. that's three inches deep. Right. This is going to be on the wall with right. standoffs. You're looking at about three quarters of an inch to stand off from the wall. Right. And it'll have a clear acrylic sheet on the it's back. It's going to shine it. from behind. Yes. Right? It's called a Halo lit. All right, so basically for the sign, we're taking a piece of aluminum, we're gonna route it out on their big machine where they can cut out the logo using the designs we sent them. But you've already started, right? Yes, we have. Okay, because you know I'm leaving with us today, right? Yes, you are. You sure? Positive. I wanna see where we're at. Okay, let's go back and take a look at it. This is the aluminum material we're using to uh, route out the box. This is just a raw piece of material that we use. Gotcha. So basically what it here is, is the machine's gonna route out that S shape yep. in the middle of the box, yep. and that's where the acrylic will come through. So basically we have to route out the face and the edges. Do you wanna see how this works? Yeah, start it up. Okay. Let's go. I think I'm done here. How's yours? I'm done Ooh, too. Yeah. I'm so good already. So now we wanna let these dry because okay. We then are going to retape. So I think this is a good time for you to shoo shoo. <gasps> I shoo shoo? So I start painting the purple and it looks beautiful already. The colors are so vivid, they're so wonderful. My soul is having a party inside my body. And then they kick me out. I don't know if you've seen my bedroom, but. I have to go take a nap in my new yeah. bed. <laughs> okay. I'm so excited, I'm oh my god. Okay, bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 All right, one girl. Three stripes. 
There we go. Lily Superwoman sign. Here we come. So we're cutting out like the inner S right now. Exactly. Basically, this is the clear acrylic piece that gets routed out. Right. This right. would be pushed through the box that we're making that we just walked. Right. And they're going to use the same machine to route out a thick, clear piece of acrylic that's going to be the S that's going to go inside the aluminum can. And then that's going to pop out in front of the aluminum can. And then to top all that off, we're going to fill it with LED lights and then make some standoffs so that's going to pop off the wall. Light's gonna spill out from the sides and out to the S, and it is gonna be super. I gotta get back there and install that thing. You ready for your sign? Yeah. All right, sounds good. Thanks, man. No well, problem. All right, I got the sign. I'm gonna head back to the office. Kate kicked Lily out while I was gone. Now it's time for us to just crush this whole place. On the wall above where Lily's desk is going, we are doing a really cool minimalist shelf. Oh my gosh, you brought the desk bases. <gasps> Joey and I are setting up this amazing desk. It has solid brass sawhorse legs, which you know a sawhorse, it has kind of that like industrial look, but these are like glam sawhorses. It is such a boss desk. It's so nice. Ew. Joey, you never style me. Next on the hurdles, Kate O'Brien, go! Ow! Joey, did you just rip your meniscus? I hope not. I heard a pop. <laughs> On top, a really thick, beautiful piece of glass that has these little silver discs that go right over the sawhorses, and it's just so cool. to do a DIY piece of art for above Lily's desk. I wanted to give her something that said boss because she has her book coming out this year. That's her, she's the boss, this is her boss station. And so I am taking a piece of this ombre paper. I have like a turquoise to yellowy green ombre and then I have a pink to yellow ombre and I was gonna use the blue to green but I like the pink to yellow. It's a little bit more the pink of the color of her room. After all, she did say it's the color of her soul. So I'm using these stencils that are just cardboard stencils and I'm laying them out in boss, that's how she spells it. I'm taping them underneath to the center of this piece of paper because I wanna use spray spray paint to spray it on because I want it to look kind of like graffiti-like. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh, when you hold this up to the rainbow behind you. So Joey and I are working on the window film. Now this is really essential for this room because this room is on the ground level. So any of Lily's neighbors who walk by, they can see into her office. Because it's an arched window, putting a curtain there would have been just so sad. So the window film is the perfect solution. Oh, both sides? Yeah. So Kate found these really cool window decals that basically are like a prism effect, still let all the light in, but you totally cannot see in from the outside. So once we lay the film down on the window, you use a little squeegee tool to just kind of get out the air bubbles, get out the excess water. Could you please be a doll and read the next step on the instructions? Oh, you have gray hair. Oh, so do you. No, I... Oh, yeah. Oh, this is in Spanish. Recorte la película. Trim film. There is a little tool that comes with the kit that you get with the window film that just has the tiniest little blade on it and just trim off the excess. And then, ta-da! If this isn't unicorn window film, I don't know what is. Okay, so we got our awesome sign. It's time to get it on the wall. We are going to run the cables down through the wall so they're hidden. We're gonna come out into a plug below the desk. Then all we gotta do is screw in our standoffs into some studs, get that front plate on. This sign looks so cool, you guys. She can walk into her office and switch on all the lights, including her logo, with just the switch panel by the door. So cool. Feel like it's lined up? Uh, 
Yeah. Lily needs a calendar. She is very busy and her and her team have a hard time keeping track of where and what she's doing all the time. So this white board decal calendar is the coolest thing. It's gigantic. Once we get it on, it's gonna be really cool. All right, so now that we got the sign on the wall, it's time to put up the desk that her team's gonna work on. We're gonna have three spaces here. We're gonna keep a really sleek, minimalist, instant DIY tabletop. I went all white with the chairs because there was so much color going on. I got lower back chairs for the wall where the stripes are. I didn't want them to go up too high and block the stripes. And I also wanted to make sure that Lily's chair was just a little bit different, a little more boss. Two blue lamps are really cool. They're just the elbow lamps, you know, very office looking. We're placing some really cool like aluminum cups. The markers and the eraser are easily accessible in this cup. They can just pluck them out. That whiteboard calendar is huge. I would need a step ladder, and Lily's only three inches taller than I am, I think. So I am giving a girl a step ladder, and it's a cute little pale blue step ladder so she can get up and write on the top line. On the other wall in front of where Lily's desk is going, we painted the whole wall with whiteboard paint. So it means she can actually use whiteboard markers. She can get creative on the wall, easy to erase, draw on the walls, Lily. Thankfully, this room does have a giant closet that has built-in shelves and everything. So that is where she will be able to store a lot of her scripts and books and papers and office supplies so that we can keep the rest of the office space really clean. I found these leaf vases. We're just bringing the color that's happening over on the wall in the paint and accessories on Lily's wall. phone holder. Oh my gosh. I'm also leaving her some little gold magnets on hand because the magazine holder, the little planter with the succulent, those are magnetic. So if she wants to, she could magnetize some little notes or some little cards around. Two bookends that are arrows. I love them because they kind of look like cursor arrows. And I'm just putting a sample of her book. That's not the final sample, guys. And we're putting it sandwiched right between those bookends. But when her book does come out, she can just like put like three to five of them. A little side table, a nice wood top with yellow legs. This can act as a stool or a side table. You know, in an office, you like to have it be kind of convertible. In the wall behind her door to the office, I'm throwing up her one million plaque. It's the plaque that YouTube gave her when she got to a million subscribers. On top of that, we have her 10 million subscriber plaque that we're putting on the shelf above her desk. Okay, Lily. So I'm writing my script and I hear the magical words, they are ready for you in five. And I'm like, oh my God, they're ready for me in five. Here we go. I'm freaking stressed. My heart can't handle these things. I'm like emotional. I don't know why. It's like my first home, my first office that's decorated. And it's such a big, I don't know, milestone is so representative to me about just like a lot of things. One, One two. Yeah. One, oh my God, I'm not ready. Hustle harder on okay. three. <laughs> yeah, hustle harder on three. Two, two three. three. Oh. oh my God. That would also be a cool background for videos too. Oh. This glorious wall that's colorful with this cut out, pretty much magical sign that glows. I don't even, and it's not made out of glue and paper. I just don't, what the heck is this? <laughs> There's this like basically Harry Potter spell on the window that makes it look crystallized. Unicorn portal. Oh my God, this makes me feel so safe because when I've been working here before, I'm like, someone's gonna jump in the window and I know, me. there was a sheet. Yes, I had a sheet tape. You made that? Yeah. I love you. <laughs> oh my God, the play button is so heavy. I never know it's where to put it. So it's so heavy. heavy. You I do what? And this oh, is whiteboard. whiteboard. It's whiteboard? Yeah. So this will come off? Yeah. Oh. oh I love my dad. This is a little phone holder. So that's magnetic, this is magnetic, so you can put up
<laughs> Hold on, everyone shut up for a second. Yeah. Explain to me how this is colorful here. How is, what is that? Did you, what, what is this? I found them on Etsy. So if I sharpen it, you're gonna tell me yes. that this is gonna stay a rainbow? Know. Shut up! You're gonna tell me this stays a rainbow. Yes. Oh my God! Oh my God, I just saw my chair right now! I know, so you have the highest back chair and then all those are matching lower back. Previously, my schedule was a hot mess. My whole team was like, what's happening when? I don't know, now we have this giant calendar, modern day sundial. I love this so much. I'm like a professional. Oh, this is so good. I'm so happy. Oh, I just pulled your hair. It's okay, okay. it's oh. so good. But it's not even it's good so like where I'm pretending because there's cameras, it's good like because in my heart it's good. <laughs> so, this is the new office, everyone. Oh, it's beautiful. Brainstorm, you will just- Wow, all right, well, let's- Have a meeting, yeah. just like this. Oh, sure. Exit the meeting, just like this. I'm so excited that like my team members get to work in that space with me. The whole morale of the team and how productive we are, everyone's just gonna feel so good and get so much work done and then just wheel our chairs and hug each other. You guys are welcome back anytime. Thank you. Yes. I have three more rooms. <laughs> <gasps> she loves it! That was so rewarding. She is just like such a special person. She's and great. yeah, I feel so honored that she allowed us into her new home, her first home, to do two super important rooms with her. I feel like every episode is just getting more and more exciting. Like that sign that we had built I know. is awesome Guys, and so profesh. Yes. Your decorating was just on another level with that oh. awesome boss DIY thing you did and then the whole like window, it was just. Ugh. Oh my gosh, the window film, like the portal to another unicorn universe. Yeah. Yes. Your skills of installing and heavy lifting. That, the okay. counter desk. Okay. No, the counter desk Thank is so you. cool. I mean, we, we fit four people in that very petite room and it feels huge and there's still room in the middle for them to like have like rolling chair, ring around the rosy parties. Yeah, Lily, thanks for having us. Thanks for having us and please subscribe guys if you haven't and welcome if you are from Lily's channel, hello. We're giving one of our lucky subscribers a $10,000 room transformation when we hit a million subscribers. Yes. Go check out Lily's channel. Yeah. See her awesome video that she did. Yeah. For this collab, mm -hmm. rabba dabba dab. Yeah, and just her awesome videos in general. And her vlog channel, go subscribe to her vlog channel too because she vlogs every day and you can see snippets of her room and how she's actually living and using the space. Okay. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks love for being you. Out. I love you too. Good job as always. Good job as always. Can we go home and sleep now? Oh yes, now we can have a weekend even well, though tomorrow's Monday. Well, okay. Okay, so, bye. Wait, Let's... tomorrow's Monday? Yeah. Oh. Before I cover my eyes and walk into the room, I told Kate, I was like, even if I love it, I'm not a screamer. Oh, don't look, don't peek. Whoa, don't hit your head, don't peek. Well, guess what happened when I walked in? At your leisure. One, two, three, three. Oh my God. <laughs> she literally shrieked. I think I screamed a couple times, actually. Oh my God.